It is early 2023, and we are going to be talking about how much of your social security will be taxed as you are filing your 2022 tax returns if you are taking social security benefits. There are numbers and equations and percentages that are part of this video, so if you are into that kind of a thing, then this video is for you. If you don't like that kind of a thing, I think you'll still get a lot out of this video, but it may not be as necessarily fun. There are a lot of rumors and myths around Social Security in general, but especially when it comes to taxes, many people don't know that their Social Security income is taxable. Others have heard that 85% of their Social Security income is taxable, so we will clear that up for you in this video. I would love it if you gave this video a like, but not right now. I want to earn it. So if after watching this you found it helpful, please consider giving this video a like and pushing that subscribe button. Okay, let's clear up the question of how much of your Social Security is taxable. First off, Social Security income is taxable. Now how much of it is taxable depends on what we are about to go through. In fact, it's true that some people have up to 85% of their Social Security income as taxable income. This is very important to clarify as we move forward through this. Taxable does not mean that the percentage amount in the form of dollars is what is taken away from you. It means that it is subject to taxes at your tax rate. So if you get $10,000 in Social Security benefits and end up in the 85% taxable scenario, that doesn't mean that $8,500 is taken away from you and that you are left with $1,500. It means that $8,500 goes towards your overall taxable income that will be taxed at whichever tax bracket that you fall under instead of the full $10,000 of Social Security income going towards your overall taxable income. Okay, so amount taxable and amount owed in taxes are very different. For those that do know that Social Security is taxable, the second big myth is that your Social Security income will be taxable at standard tiered amounts, either 0%, 35%, 50% or 85%. And this is not correct, but you will see where those numbers come from as we move through how the taxable percentage is calculated. But there are not fixed percentage amounts, meaning you could have 0% of your social security income be taxable, but you could also have 1% or 2% or any percent up to 85% be taxable. All right, let's dive into how your number is calculated as you start filing your 2022 taxes this year. A major definition that we have to understand for this is provisional income. Your provisional income will determine how much of your social security income is taxable. So let's move over here. Provisional income is made up of three buckets. The first bucket is your adjusted gross income. Adjusted gross income is defined as your gross income minus adjustments to income. It includes wages, dividends, capital gains, business income, retirement distributions from things like pensions, 401ks, 403bs, and any IRAs that you may have. So your adjusted gross income is bucket number one. All of your adjusted gross income goes into this bucket. The second bucket would be tax-exempt interest income. Think of this as municipal bonds. All of your tax-exempt interest income goes into this bucket. The third and final bucket would be your social security income, but it is only 50% of your social security income that goes into this bucket. Once you have your provisional income number, it gets run through two possible calculations, and I'll describe those calculations, and then after we'll run through some examples with real dollar amounts. When looking at these two calculations, understand that the amount that your social security will be taxed will be whichever amount ends up being lower between the two calculations. So the first path that your provisional income can take involves two thresholds. This video is geared for those filing their 2022 taxes here in 2023. So in 2022, for single filers, the threshold is $25,000 for the first threshold, and then the second threshold is $34,000. For joint filers, the first threshold is $32,000, and the second threshold is $44,000. Our examples moving forward will involve joint situations, but know that single is different in terms of the dollar amount, but it works the same way. If your provisional income number is higher than the first threshold of $32,000 for joint, then 50% of the dollars over the first threshold become taxable. And that second threshold, the $44,000, 35% of any dollars over that amount are also taxable. Adding the threshold one number to the threshold two number gives you a dollar amount of your social security income that is taxable. Or we look at path number two and the calculation number two. Calculation number two is much more straightforward, and it is just 85% of your Social Security income, the total Social Security income amount. Remember how we said that up to 85% of your Social Security benefit may be taxed? 
That's why Calculation 2 exists. It is 85% of your Social Security benefit and the maximum taxable amount. And you will see that there are instances where 85%, meaning Calculation number 2, is actually lower than Calculation number 1, so it would be used. Okay, let's play with some numbers here to see what our provisional income would be, and then run those through these calculations. The first scenario is when Social Security is your only income source. The second scenario will be a mix of Social Security income and other income, and then the third scenario will be a higher income couple. So number one, Social Security is your only form of income. As of October 2022, the average Social Security check is just over $1,500 per person per month, we will use $1,500 even just to keep things simple. And let's pretend that you and your spouse both bring in that amount for a total of $3,000 per month or $36,000 per year. Your provisional income is going to be made up of $0 from the adjusted gross income bucket number one because you aren't taking any income. It'll be $0 from bucket number two because you don't have any tax exempt income plus 50% of your social security income. So $18,000 in this case. Now let's send it through our two calculations. Well, the first one is easy because $18,000 does not meet either of the thresholds. So that amount is zero. The second calculation is the 85% of your total Social Security benefit of $36,000, which ends up being $30,600 as that 85% number. But remember that you will be taxed on the lower of the two calculations, which in this case is calculation number one of $0. So 0% of your Social Security income will be taxed. No taxes on that. Yes. Scenario number two, we'll keep your Social Security income the same at $36,000, but this time you have some income from retirement sources. Let's say that you take another $2,000 a month from your 401k, so $24,000 per year. And let's say that you're taking $100 a month or $1,200 per year from your municipal bond tax-exempt income. Your provisional income is $24,000 from your adjusted gross income bucket number one, plus $1,200 from your tax-exempt income bucket number two, plus 50% of your Social Security benefit, or $18,000, giving a total of $43,200 as the provisional income number to run through our calculations. Well, $43,200 exceeds the first threshold of $32,000, but not the second. $43,200 is $11,200 above the first threshold. So you take that $11,200, you multiply it by 50%, and that is the taxable amount of Social Security using calculation number one, which is $5,600. That makes up 16% of your Social Security amount, which is less than the calculation number two of 85% of your total Social Security amount. So we will use calculation number one as your Social Security taxable income. To repeat what we mentioned at the beginning of the video, this $5,600 number is not the dollars that are taken away from your Social Security income. It is the amount of money taxable at whatever your income bracket is only $5,600 of your Social Security income is going to be added to your AGI, meaning your total income subject to federal taxes, rather than the full $36,000 of Social Security income added to your AGI, which is right over here. This is the 2022 standard deduction. You may itemize yours, so that number may be different for you, but what we see here is that our total income of $61,200 from all three buckets, with only $3,700 of all sources, being taxable. Let me know in the comments if I lost you there, but let's do one more example here with other income earners to see how things change. The last scenario, let's keep the Social Security benefit at $36,000 for the couple, but they take out $60,000 out of retirement counts over the course of the year and another $10,000 out of tax-exempt income. Your provisional income number is $60,000 from your AGI bucket number one, plus $10,000 from your tax-exempt income bucket number two, plus 50% of your Social Security benefit, or $18,000, giving a total of $88,000 as your provisional income number to run through our calculations. Now, $88,000 is higher than both of Calculation 1 thresholds, so we can finally see that number. $88,000 is $56,000 higher than threshold number 1, meaning that we take 50% of $56,000, and that number becomes threshold box number 1, $28,000, plus $88,000 is $44,000 higher than threshold number two, meaning we take 35% of the $44,000 excess and put it into threshold box number two for $15,400. Add box number one and box number two together, 
and we get $43,400 in taxable Social Security income. But wait a minute, that is higher than our total Social Security benefit. So that means that we will take the lower calculation number two, which is 85% of our Social Security income. That dollar amount is $30,600. Again, this is not the money that you owe. This is the amount added to your adjusted gross income that will get you to your total taxable income at whatever marginal tax rate you land in. You can see it over here. Your total income across all buckets is $106,000. Your AGI number here is from bucket number one plus the calculated Social Security number of $30,600 here. The standard deduction is here bringing your total taxable income to $64,700 rather than $106,000, and that will be split between the tax brackets of 10% and 12% based on the 2022 taxable income thresholds. So, as you can see, we saw a scenario where 0% of your Social Security is taxable, 16% of your Social Security income is taxable, and 85% of your Social Security income is taxable. You can see where the myth from before of standard percentages of 0%, 35%, 50%, and 85% come from, but you can also see how that is a myth and not the reality. Messing with your provisional income number can get you any percentage between 0% and 85%. So this is where a shameless plug comes in. If you are needing to meet with a financial advisor to figure out your retirement strategies as they relate to social security, tax strategies to maximize your benefit and minimize your tax obligation, or just plan for the future, shoot me an email and we can help. We are not CPAs, so we don't file your taxes or do your taxes for you, but we have financial advisors as part of 90 Days from Retirement that help with wealth management, financial planning, and social security strategies that will involve how taxes come into play. Okay, now we have the moment that I alluded to at the very beginning of this video, the one where I told you that I would hope to earn your like on this video. So how'd we do? If this was helpful, consider liking this video. And before you go, this is one of many videos that we will have on social security, including other important definitions, how your social security benefit is calculated, strategies to use with your spouse and other videos. So hit that subscribe button if you want to stay informed on all of these topics. I appreciate you spending some time with me and I will see you in the next video.